In Connecticut, one in four homes contains high levels of an invisible, odorless contaminant. It's the leading cause of lung cancer in non-smokers and kills tens of thousands nationwide. It isn't mold. It's not asbestos. It's radon, a radioactive gas. Discovered in 1898 at the time, few saw it as a threat, but that changed when uranium miners began dying from lung cancer at alarming rates. By the 1950s, scientists had connected the dots. Prolonged radon exposure causes cancer. But the real wake-up call came in 1984. Stanley Watrous, a worker at the Limerick Nuclear Power Plant in Pennsylvania, set off a radiation detector before he even entered the building. The source turned out to be his house. Tests revealed radon levels over 25,000 times the EPA's recommended limit, the equivalent of smoking 2,000 cigarettes a day. That single case launched the first widespread residential testing in the U.S. Today, much of Connecticut is in a high-risk zone. Radon forms underground as uranium breaks down in rock and soil. It seeps up into buildings through cracks in the foundation and gets trapped indoors, especially in winter. Radon is dangerous, but it can be controlled with mitigation systems that keep levels safely in check.